Just a quick word on a new Windows 11 feature that was recently made available to the wider public through the October 2022 Moment update. So if I open up the File Explorer, you'll see that it now has these little tabs, which on a basic level work just like the ones in Microsoft Edge or any other modern web browser for that matter. To create a new tab, you can simply click on the plus button or right click on a folder and select open in new tab. As they start filling up the top bar of the File Explorer, they get increasingly smaller, and if you really go crazy, you can navigate through them by clicking on these little arrow icons, or by simply scrolling with your mouse wheel. You can also move them around by dragging them to your desired position, however, this can feel a bit clunky at times. So as you can see here, as I try to move this particular tab to the right, the occupying tab can take up to a few seconds to move, and that's because the hitboxes that trigger the action are actually kind of small, and the animations aren't as smooth as the ones in Edge, for example. It's nothing I personally take too much issue with, but it definitely is something for Microsoft to have in mind for future updates. On the other hand, you currently cannot drag tabs off of a window in order to create a separate one, nor can you drag them onto a different window. The good news though is that you can drag and drop files and folders from one tab to another, which is something I find to be extremely useful simply because of how much faster it is than dragging and dropping files between windows that are grouped on the taskbar. So for example, let's say I want to move a file from my downloads to a work folder. I click and hold, drag it down to the taskbar, hover over the window I'm aiming for, I release, and that probably took about 5 or 6 seconds. Alternatively, if I drag and drop that file across two different tabs, it takes about a second. But in terms of functionality, that's about it. You do also get a few right-click options, but again, this is very basic stuff that just addresses the way you close one or multiple tabs. So you can right-click to close an individual tab, all of the tabs, or the ones to the right. For future updates, I would like to see them adding an option to pin tabs, maybe an option to save tab groups for future sessions, or at least a prompt that warns you that you're about to lose a bunch of tabs when you X out of File Explorer. Still, even without these things, tabs are most certainly a more than welcome feature. The Windows 11 File Explorer initially felt like a half-baked product, or just a stripped down version of what we had before. But with this addition, I feel like it's finally become its own thing, for better or for worse. Anyway, that would be all for this quick video. If you're having trouble with some of the changes that came along with Windows 11, but maybe you still want to give this version a chance before rolling back, check out my video titled Fix Your Windows 11 User Experience, and I also have an entire playlist called PC World, which has a bunch of Windows related videos, so I'm sure you'll find something interesting there as well. Thumbs up if you found this video useful, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.